Today, I'm, it's a spectator sport, what I'm doing. I'm sitting here watching these guys. These guys are snagging for paddlefish. It's a legal season we have in Kentucky where these people can go out and catch paddlefish using a big snagging rod. And as you watch him, what he does is basically takes a huge rod, a big old spinning outfit, and he's got a big weight and a big treble hook. He throws it out as far as he can, lets it hit the bottom, and then he rips it back in with the hopes of catching a paddlefish. Very interesting season that maybe not a lot of people know about. We're up at Meldal today in Pendleton County. Below the dam here, the water's coming up. I'm not sure how things are gonna be, but too much work for one armed man. So we're gonna sit here and watch these guys snag some paddlefish and see what happens. This is something that you really look forward to. I mean, you said once the hunting season's over, you start. Yes, sir, I look forward to February 1st every year. No kidding. And this season lasts through? Through, I believe it's May the 8th or May the 10th. So sometime in May. So do you pretty much snag the whole season? The beginning of the season's a lot better. Yeah. Um, when it starts getting closer to May, you tend to run into more of your white bass and hybrids, and we really don't like snagging those. So right. we'll stop a long time before that, but um, February and March are the best months. Fish on. We haven't been out here 10 minutes and he's already on. What's a good fish? What kind of what kind of paddle fish you catch down here size wise? Uh, anywhere from 20 pounds to the biggest we've caught so far is 30 pounds. That. If you're out here and you accidentally snag something else, if it's a sport fish, you can't keep it. Correct. You have to then, immediately release it. And typically what you catch is paddlefish and maybe the occasional catfish. Catfish, um, channel catfish and blue cats. Now depending much. on the, the current, we got plenty of it today, you were using anywhere from four to six ounces. Yes, that's correct. And uh, you pour this yourself, mm -hmm. which allows your wife to let you come out here, <laughs> yeah, that's as you said. They're, they're fairly expensive if you buy them outright, so try to recycle, use tire weights, things of that nature. And a nice big ADOC hook, and again, you said you had 60, what, 60, 65 pound test? 65 pound braided test. Braided test, so that's some stout stuff. And just a nice big, probably saltwater type or catfish reel. Uh, 12 foot ugly stick and a Daiwa in-cast reel. And this is your typical surf rod, which you can get two hands on it and really launch that thing out there. And what you're doing is stripping through that water column, trying to, and I, I noticed you let it hit the bottom, and you start working it in from there and reeling. And this is not for the faint of heart. You know, you don't see a whole lot of people out there doing it because it's work. Well, yeah, it, it, you get pretty tired. At the end of the day, your shoulders kind of. The first couple times you come out, yeah, you're pretty sore, but I guess you get conditioned after that. You get a nice big bunch of paddlefish. Now, how do, how do you like to fix it? We've made it baking it, but the way we like to eat it most is fried. So you eat it every now and then, every other week or so? The, the, the book that you get with your fishing license says you can eat it six times a year. Right. Um, so I guess you can eat about three pounds of it safely a year. Right. I'd probably eat that all at one time. It's easy to do. Let's well, go talk to a biologist and find out a little bit more about this crazy fish. And I think you're crazy for doing it, but man, it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of a cool way to catch well, fish. Doug Henley, Ohio River biologist, you know what? Paddlefish are intriguing animals. I don't care how many times you've seen them, how many times you've looked at them. I know you've worked with them, you've shocked them up, you've uh, you've seen them in every shape, form, and fashion. Mm -hmm. Fascinating fish. A lot of people call them Spoonville catfish. Mm -hmm. Not in the catfish family, correct? No, they're not. They are not in the catfish family. How many species are there and where are they found? Well, there's uh, two species. One is found over in China, in Asia, and then the other is found right here in the middle of the United States. Now, these fish, I find fascinating because they don't have any bones. bones. Well, the jaws will be bones, right. just like a, sh a shark. More but the rest, type. but yeah, but the rest of the skeleton, quote unquote, is is cartilaginous. 
So essentially no bones, it's a, it's a cartilage. And all these people that I've talked to, and I've eaten it, mm -hmm. it's good, firm, white meat. There's no, again, no spinal column. What do you call it, a notochord? Notochord, right. That's Very the, odd looking critter. Right. So not a whole lot of people do this because it's a whole lot of work. It's a bunch of work, yeah. And I mean, they throw these huge rods out. Now, now let me tell you what, a one-armed man, I'm not doing it. <laughs> but uh, you, we don't discourage that. It's, it's, there are very few people do it because it is a lot of work and the payoff right. is, you know, you lose a lot of weights and stuff like you're that. You're gonna lose a lot of weights, you're gonna lose the hooks, yeah. You, mm -hmm. It can get frustrating and then you can have the days where you make the 100 casts and catch nothing, so. Yeah. And it'll wear you out. Oh, I've seen it'll it. I've out. tried it. Right, Didn't like it. Right, right. But it's a it's very interesting to watch. And right. hey, more power to you if you enjoyed this.